Welcome back guys to another video of our Foot Manager Mobile series with Barcelona. So uh, in today's video we have uh, a mixed episode. We've got two games in the La Liga, then a game in the uh, Copa del Rey and then we've got a Champions League game against uh, Moscow. So let's head straight into this episode. We're looking very good at the top of the table with a a six point lead which is very good and a very healthy goal difference so let's see if we have any more injuries to worry about uh, we have Messi who's carrying a bit of a knock he's not fully fit yet and Suarez obviously he's injured again he's gonna be out for a week so hopefully we should have him for the end of this episode so last game we barely won against Moscow 1-0 um, obviously we had to employ, sorry, deploy our new tactic, which we've been using for the game against Atletico Madrid as well, with no striker, and that worked out really well, and, um, oh god, sorry, wrong sub, and despite not getting a healthy win at, uh, Moscow, I mean, we did win 1-0, but it wasn't by large margin we can still say that the new tactic is working okay in terms of uh, winning because we are unbeaten we've had two games of this new tactic and we've won both of them but i am not looking forward to using it too many times because um, the team just struggles every midfielder has to then assume their role as a uh, shooter as a scorer perhaps so it applies a bit of pressure um so who do we have here? We're going to have Vidal return to the lineup. Um, Messi is still not fit, guys. So I think we are going to have to stick to... We're going to have to stick to this formation, I believe, unless... Can Dem Dembele can play as a... Let's put Dembele as a shadow striker and then we're going to put Malcolm on the right hand side as an inside forward. And overall this should be a uh, a decent formation. I can't lie, this should be a very good formation. Um, perhaps I should use Dembele as a shadow striker earlier but he was injured for the Madrid game. And um, Roberto, Roberto, he's, he's quite solo. We're going to put him on for Rakitic, Suarez is going to be coming on for Messi. Messi, we're going to put him on the reserves. He's not fully fit, uh, so uh, we're not going to risk it. We've got too many injuries at the moment to be risking any player, especially Messi, our game-winning um, superstar. And, uh, yeah, let's head straight into it, see how Dembele does as a shadow striker. So, in a way, we do kind of have a striker, but he's going to... Uh, honestly, I don't really know what his traits are. I should have looked into that a bit, but I have played a shadow striker before, and he is he is decent. He works best as a um, centre forward though, behind an actual recognised striker. So we're gonna have to see how this one ends. We do concede. I think this is for one of the first times this season we concede we concede a goal um, within the first ten minutes, or just concede a goal first in general, uh, which is a bit disappointing. We gotta pick it up. Uh, now we got a free kick in a good position. Very good position. I think Coutinho is going to be taking it and it gets deflected. Malcolm can't run to it, but it is a corner kick. We need to pick up the pace, guys. We are in danger of losing our unbeaten run. Let's see if Umtiti can whip in a good corner. Uh, he can't, unfortunately, but he gets the ball back. Who's he going to pass it to? Kante, to Busquets, to Hernandez, to Coutinho, to Busquets. Oh, good defending from uh, Real. Valladolid. Coutinho couldn't get that ball. We're playing a bit, we're being spread out a bit, but here's Vidal to Coutinho to, once again, we just can't make that final pass. Here's Kante, oh, a good save, and uh, one of the other Barcelona players was just about to pick up the ball. Uh, good defending there from our number 21, I'm not sure who that is. Um, approaching half time, guys, and still no goal, it's a bit concerning. Here's Coutinho, once again, we just can't finish that final part. Here's Vidal, though, is he going to assume his responsibility, unlucky? Um... Uh, you go straight into the keeper's hand, not very challenging, and we are just about to go into the break. 1-0 uh, down for the first time this season, which is um, a bit disappointing, but yes, it can happen. I'm not sure if it's anything to do with the formation. Um, perhaps you could say maybe that striker's just missing and uh, not giving us that 
full power up front but let's see how we cope this is a one of those moments where we have to cope with our plan b because obviously plan a cannot be fully implemented without a recognized striker messi and suarez are out munir is still young still learning um so he can't be pressurized too much here is another chance for valladolid good defending from tt but he can't clear that one fully out and it is a good save from Tesh Stegen. We were just about to concede our second one. Looking a bit uh, fragile defensively, which is not good. And uh, also going forward, it's a bit weak. Passes are not very uh, precise and assuring. Here's Coutinho, though. He's got a good chance to level it, and it hits the wall again. Come on, Coutinho. You can do better, better than that. That was a very good angle. Uh, we're going to get ready to make our first sub. Here's Hernandez. He can't get that under control to Dembele. What's Dembele going to do? He needs to step up. He needs to step up. It's another corner. And I think we will be allowed to make our substitution. Yes, we can. Let's bring on Alba for Hernandez. And um, let's bring on Roberto for Vidal. We've got no one else to put on at the moment. Really struggling for that striker. Not really looking forward to losing this one. We've got to keep this winning run going, which is a bit unfortunate if we do lose. But here's MTT with another corner. Can we get a goal back, guys? No, we can't. It's another corner kick. And it's becoming a full cycle now, corner after corner, and none of them are getting put in. Here's Roberto. Get hit. He's getting his chance. Slightly better corner, but still couldn't find the person. Roberto, though, to Alba. Alba, good run. He's got to put this one in the box. Coutinho, sloppy play. Come on, guys. You can do better than this. What is going on? No confidence today whatsoever. Come on. Sergio Roberto, he's going to get a yellow. Oh, come on. Come on, someone step up. It's, it's about two minutes left of this. Oh, my days. Free kick to Barcelona. You know what, let's just change Dembele as an attacking midfielder rather than a shadow striker. Perhaps that's not his best role. Um, oh, come on, man, let me make the fucking um, change, man. This fucking game is pissing me off. It's taking so long. We're going to put him as an advanced midfielder, see how he performs. And Suarez, we're going to bring on Suarez for Coutinho, who's not been doing too well uh, this game, I must admit. It's a bit disappointing. Coutinho has been on fine form this season, but this game he's not been showing his um, not been showing his his true self. Unfortunately, he's been lacking a bit of confidence. He wasted two good free kicks, which could have been a one at least one of them could have been a good goal with a player of his quality. But the the clock is slowly ticking down, and this is our probably our last chance of the game. And I can't believe we are heading for a one 0 loss. Oh my days against Real Valladolid. Come on, guys. Ah, oh, the final whistle goes. Fuck, man. What a shit result. Come on, guys. What the fuck was that? Absolutely terrible. Come on. And now Atletico Madrid have won. They gained their fucking uh, another three points ahead of us. So now we're only uh, three points behind the uh, second place. We get our first loss of the season. Absolutely terrible. Let me see where the fuck that fucking shit team is. Oh, I'm getting really pissed off, man. Fucking, what? we just lost against fucking Real Valladolid. They are fucking 19th, and that's their first goal of, the, I mean, first win of the season. Oh, my days. You should be embarrassed. Absolutely embarrassed. We're definitely going to switch up the team uh, for this uh, Copa del Rey final. We cannot lose in that manner against a fucking relegation candidate. Not, not good at all. We're definitely going to make some substitutions. Teach a few players a uh, couple lessons they can't be fucking about. Um, especially in such a in such a tight league, this is a, one of the best leagues out there. You can't be a uh, you can't afford to be doing these kind of stuff. Um, once again, Messi Messi is now fully fit, so we're gonna give Arthur his starting place um, for Vidal. Let's put on Roberto for Kante. Kante, we're gonna give Kante a break. Uh, Rafinha put on Suarez for Coutinho um, Mune well let's put 
We're going to put Messi on for Dembele. Okay. Then Dembele is going to sit on the bench for Rafinha. And I think that should be about it, guys. We've changed most of our squad up. Only a few senior players remain, such as the fullbacks, uh, the defensive midfielder, and the wingers. I mean, the winger, one of the wingers, and uh, the striker. Let's get a good result here, guys. Let's try to get past that defeat against a fucking relegation candidate, which I still cannot believe. It's fucking terrible. Uh, but I guess, yeah, it can happen. Uh, Malcolm to Arthur, to Busquets, and the play goes on. We get another chance, a free kick in a decent position. Messi's going to take it. I wonder if he's going to shoot. No, he gives a good pass to Arthur. Messi, he gets another indirect free kick. What a good position. He's got to take this one. Come on. you got to take this one. What a goal. See, this is what Coutinho... Ah, oh, it's on goal. But anyway, it's a deflection. That gives us the lead. This is what Coutinho needs to be doing in these good chances, man. You need to take advantage of it. Whether it's a, you deflect off someone's head or... Um, just place it in the net itself. you got to make it count. Samedo, he's probably going to get a yellow quite early on. Yes, he's going to get a yellow. Unfortunate for him. Torres, good interception. Let's see what he can do, the youngster. He's getting more and more game time as these games go on. Messi, he gets his goal. What a goal from Messi. He went all around the keeper and had enough, uh, enough, uh, what's it called? Enough patience and coolness in him to actually slot that in a quite narrow angle, I must say. But you would expect nothing less from him. Good play. Malcolm was uh, getting his shirt dragged back. So that's automatically a free kick. And it is a good position. Messi should cross this one in this time. He did try to go for the shot again. Uh, and it ended up going out for a corner. Here's Sergio Roberto. He's going to take this one. And he gets it back. <laughs> Another corner. Oh, these corners are so annoying. Here's Sergio Roberto. A good counter-attack chance for Real Sociedad. We need to be compact in defence. Good interception from Semedo. And here is a throw-in once again for Semedo. Off to Malcolm, off to Messi, off to Arfa. What a goal. Arfa's first goal of the season. What a good play. Absolutely beautiful. And just to remind you guys, we are not at full power with our squad yet. We've got so many uh, reserve and substitute players coming on, which is uh, very good to see we're winning by such a good margin. And it's not even half-time yet. Very good performance so far. Arthur gets his first goal. Messi back on the score sheet as always. And um, obviously that own goal, uh, which is a bit disappointing for Real Sociedad to concede. But it is another goal for us, so um, I'm not going to be complaining about that one. Half time, guys. We absolutely dominated this game. Let's head into the second half with the same mentality, same confidence, same attacking play, hopefully. And um, yeah, here's Malcolm. Good early start. Uh, bad pass from Arthur. Needs to be careful. A uh, good interception from Alba. Alba coming in to sweep that uh, ball, put out of play. Samedo needs to be a bit more careful. He was not watching his. Wing properly, he just let him go past him, and that is a goal conceded. Very disappointing for some medal. Did not expect that from him. He just he just kind of sat there and looked at that winger that just went past him, and that resulted in the goal. Anyway, here's a substitution for Real Sociedad. They're getting more serious as the game goes on. They're trying to find that second goal now, and uh, that will put them back in the game. We just got to hold our ground and uh, ho um, score another goal. That's what we got to do. Free kick to Arcelolo. And uh, he gets the yellow card, the Real Sociedad player.
Gain's been dying down slowly, slowly. Here's another chance for Real Sociedad. They're on the upper hand right now. We've got to soak in the pressure just as they did in the second half. Come on, guys. I want to see some defending. Semedo couldn't prevent that from going out for a corner. And here is another chance for Real Sociedad. They're playing really well in the second half. They came out on top. They scored an early goal. And, uh, and yeah, uh, Sociedad are back in the game, guys. Just as I was uh, getting worried about. And it happens, uh, Bautista gets another goal. He's on a very good form. He's on. He's in very good form today. Um, yeah, we got to be careful now. We're going to implement some uh, substitutions to just see this game out. I'm not really looking forward to a draw or anything like that. I'm not sure how it works in uh, this cup. I think it's replays if you draw, which I don't really want to mess up my schedule by getting another replay. Um... Who do we have here? Coutinho is going to be coming off for Suarez. Suarez is absolutely not been playing well. He's on a five. Uh, very disappointing. And um, we're going to place the youngster Munir for Messi. And Dembele for Malcolm. And that's all our three substitutions done. That should help us see the win out. Um, but nothing is guaranteed till the final whistle. 80th minute. 10 minutes left guys. Got to hold on to this win. We got to hold on. Imagine, imagine we draw this game. Can you imagine three 0 up and then drawing three three? It doesn't get any worse than that. Yet again, Sociedad making yet another change. They're trying to get their best players in. They're trying to get some fresh legs. They need another goal to equalize the game. And what a result this will be for them coming three 0 down to three three, if they do get the goal, of course. And direct free kick. Lengley goes down. Um, Dembele, very good, very good. Oh, just couldn't get that crossing. But here's Dembele, he's back at the ball again. And Mune gets his first goal for the club. Absolutely beautiful. Maybe it was offside. Oh, oh, the referee's going to the VAR. He's watching the video for potential offside. Let's see what the result is, guys. Oh, the goal has been cancelled, guys. It was offside. Um, Barcelona uh, still leading 3-2 that goal did not count unfortunate for the young star would have been a good uh, way to introduce himself into the game by scoring a late goal uh, to assure his team the victory but here's Munir again he can make amends he oh he chooses to be unselfish passes to Tembele but the final whistle goes guys not a great result I must say we did win of course but this result was too close for comfort so uh next game we are back against Valencia in La Liga we gotta make sure we win this um 100% because our first two results were not too confident. We had a loss and then a scrappy 3-2 uh, win, um, which was not very good. Because the only thing not good about it is we conceded two goals, let's be honest. Um, but yeah, let's bring our main starters back into the lineup. Uh, we're going to have MTT and... Um, PK in that defensive mid. Kante's coming back. Coutinho is going to be coming back. Uh, Suarez has not been playing too well. I'm not sure. Maybe it's his positioning that I'm not getting right. But he's not been playing to the best of his uh, capability. So that's a bit disappointing. Suarez is fit, guys. I can confirm he is fit. We're going to have him on. You know what? Let's put, let's put him on. And then Messi's going to come on for Malcolm. And I think, guys, I think this is a game winning side right here sorry let me just put on Vidal and this could be a game winning side obviously we're risking a Suarez just a bit just because he's an inch not fit but you've got to take these risks sometimes to get the results you need and it's not I mean he has fully recovered from his injury that has been confirmed by his physio um it's just his fitness is just about probably on 95 percent right now um, so yeah, anything is a risk. Of course, he could get an even worse injury, so we gotta be uh, wary of that. But we also know he's a good striker and he can help us win games. Messi, very good play to Kante to Vidal to Coutinho. What a fucking start to the game! Absolutely beautiful, pure masterclass passing right there 
from the right hand wing down to the center continue with the first time shot flies into that bottom corner or top corner i'm not sure and it is a good goal here's vidal we are not stopping now though messi not a very weak shot very easy for the keeper to save but what a great start guys a good reply so far from our one nil loss against uh relegation candidate real uh, valladolid so uh, everything's going good at the moment Kante picks up an injury, guys. Oh, my days. We're going to have to switch this one around because Vidal can play that ball-winning midfielder role. Um, but Arthur can only play the advanced playmaker. So let's see how this impacts our game, guys. And let's see at the end of the game if it's a big injury to Kante, who's been a very essential member of our team so far this season. He's been He scored a goal at a very important time to give us that 1-0 lead. And overall, he's a very compact and a very um, trustworthy member of our midfield. Half time approaching, still 1 0 up. Not many chances since we scored. Of course, we are still leading the game through shots. And uh, possession, we're just getting outmatched slightly on possession. But that's okay. Oh, my days. Coutinho, he's down as well. The physios are uh, concerned about him. But he looks like he's, he's continuing because the game has played on. But, um, yeah, so far this season, we are having a quite a big injury crisis. Uh, very uh, legit are... Uh, Players are getting injured quite frequently, I've uh, noticed. Which is a bit concerning, but, um, you know, that can happen. And here we go, we get the game on the way. Second off, let's do this, boys. Busquets to PK, a uh, decent pass to Messi, but he couldn't get that. And it's a throw in for us. Let's try another goal just before final time, guys, just to make this game safe. Here's Coutinho. Let's see what he can do. Very good dribbling from Coutinho, but he did not manage to sneak that cross in. It went out for a corner kick. Here's Suarez with a corner. That was god-awful corner. Very uh, poor. Here's Messi on to Semedo. Busquets, the, this could be a goal. Suarez gets his first goal since his injury. Absolutely beautiful. And Valencia... Okay, apparently it was offside. The Valencia players are going to the to going to argue to the linesman, but the referee is uh, telling them off. Gaia was just about to get a booking for protesting uh, too much to the linesman, but he gets let off with a warning. Fair play from the referee, and that gives gives a second goal of the game. Suarez again, Coutinho again, absolute masterclass counter attack, and as Coutinho's second goal of the game, and he's racking up them goals this season, which is very very good to see. We're going to get ready for our first substitution of the game. Probably going to make two subs and leave another one for the final minutes in case there's injury or anything. Um, let's do that now. We are 3-0 up, so we can't afford to bring in some players. Um, Messi, he's been a bit quiet today, so we're going to put Dembele off for him. Um, let's put an elbow on for Hernandez as well. Hernandez has been playing very good. It's nothing to do with his gameplay. I just want to bring on some fresh legs. See this game out without conceding another two goals like we did in our last game. Here it is. Valencia get the game underway. About not that much left of the game. About 14 minutes left. Okay, guys, two minutes into added time. Let's see if uh, the referee's going to call a stop to this game. No, he's not. Not yet. He's trying to... Oh, there we go. Full time, guys. Absolute good. Absolute beautiful play from my team today. 3-0 win against Valencia. Not a very good... I mean, so not a very not a very easy place to come and win. Um, obviously, and also we've also ended Valencia's seven win uh, match run which they were on so that's very good pk's out for 10 days guys oh my days messi wants a new contract oh my days we're going to give him a four-year contract 
which is a bit much for realizing now, but um, he does deserve it. He's such a good player. We're versus Moscow today. Um, Suarez, good news, Suarez. Actually, wait, hold on. I uh, spoke too fast. Suarez is not fully fit, so we are going to have to put Messi in that position and bring Dembele on the right-hand side. Uh, didn't get to check how much Kante is injured for. Let's check. He's, oh, no, he's out for a month. That's not very good. We're going to have Vidal replace him and we're going to have Arfa coming for Kante and then that gives Rakitic his place on the bench. Very, very um, concerning with Kante and Vermaelen's going to get his place on the bench as well. Not very good so far. Injury after injury once again. Jordi Alba, he's going to keep his place on the bench. Rakitic, he's on six games, one assist. We're going to keep it like this. And let's head into this game. We are looking for our, what's it, our fourth consecutive Champions League a win in this group stage so far to strengthen our, our position in first place. And I think we have no goals conceded so far in the Champions League group stage. So that's a plus. Looking to maintain that record as well. And uh, see how far we get. And have a good chance. Arthur to Hernandez. Down that left hand wing. He's going to cross this one in. Not a bad cross. But too many uh, red shirts in the way. Here's Akinfev. Good interception from Lengley. But it just goes down to the Moscow players again. Hernandez once again on that left hand side. Coutinho. Good little one. Two is Messi. Oh. What a ball to Messi, but the goal won't stand. It's offside. Oh, that was such a good play. And then Messi did his part. It just shimmied around the keeper and just slotted that one home. No panic, no pressure. Unfortunately, it was offside. So fair play to the assistant linesman, keeping his eyes peeled. Coutinho, Coutinho, Coutinho. Oh, no one could pick up that one. Just lurking outside the box. I mean, outside the goal. Well, no one could tap it in. And we get a corner, guys. Very good pressure we're applying. Um, sloppy ball. Dembele gets it though. We're doing our attacking phase really well. Semedo. Messi. He's, yes, he squeezes this one in. Messi gets yet another goal. And that puts us 1-0 up. Just before half time. Nothing better than a goal just before half time to get your team in the best of moods. Our oh, referee's calling one of the Moscow players over. He might give another yellow. Sorry, not another yellow, but just a yellow. Um, not sure what the challenge was. Yeah, he does get a yellow. Messi stays, steps, steps up. Can't even fucking speak. Steps up to take the free kick, but the play goes on. Nothing too important from that phase. Here is Samedo down, down that right hand side. He needs to put this cross in. It escapes everyone. Oh, it is a corner kick. Uh, Coutinho nearly got a shot on, but it did get deflected out for a corner. Which seems like Messi's going to be taking it. No, he's not because full time has just been announced. And we are ready to uh, get into the second half. Uh, fresh with confidence and ready to see this game out. Possibly add a few more goals. That's the ideal situation. Uh, because 1-0 lead, you know how it is. But anyway, here's Hernandez. He loses the ball quite sloppily. Here's Semedo. Very good pace. A good corner. Vidal picks up the pieces. Vidal. Oh, nearly a goal from Vidal. Good little one too with his teammate. Nearly puts that one in, but just hits the side netting. And it goes up for a goal kick. 60 minutes gone of the game. About 30 left. Let's see what our players can do. Substitutions are just around the corner. We're going to be implementing them soon. Vidal, it looks like he is... Yeah, he's getting a yellow card for whatever reason. He must have done a, a foul. Quite a severe one. To warrant a yellow card. 
And direct free kick again, it's just free kick after free kick, everyone's just trying to stop each other from counter-attacking and just attacking in general. Samedo, what can you do to get past him? Good, sensible pass. Dembele, a good a good shot from Dembele, really test the keeper, unfortunately it does not go in, and this game is still kept at 1-0. Busquets is given a warning. Game's been a bit dead now. Just can't seem to add another goal. And this has been a bit of a problem so far in this Champions League campaign. A lot of 1-0 wins. I think we've had about two 1-0 wins so far. Just my team just can't find that extra gear just to get that second goal. Uh, to really put this game to bed, honestly, if I'm, if I'm being... Oh. Uh, deflected free kick goes straight into the hands of Akinfev. And Samedo picks up the pieces and he goes for the, another cross. Is he going to get this one on point though? And the play goes on. And we're ready for our first substitution of the game. Uh, looking at how our players are performed. Dembele has been doing okay. Midfield, midfield has been doing uh, good. Messi has done his job. He's on the score sheet. Uh, what's going to happen is I'm going to put Munir on as in the striker position. Got to give him game time slowly. Got to give him more confidence. But for some reason he is not... On uh, the bench. My mistake. Um, let's bring on. Dennis Suarez for Coutinho. And let's bring on Jordi Alba for Hernandez. And that is it for this game. Oh, three minutes into at a time. We're just about getting ready for a counter attack. Let's see if the referee is going to play this on. He is Dembele. Oh, just couldn't get that one. He went straight to the keeper. And another 1 0 win, guys. Another clean sheet. And we are doing absolutely fantastic in this Champions League campaign. We're going to check out the group stage right now, see where all the teams are placed. Um. Good news, we have qualified. We have won literally more than half of our games. Yes, we've won half of our games. More than that, actually. Um, won four games on the roll. On the spin, sorry. Six goals for zero against. What a healthy um, goal difference we have. And Dortmund are gaining their rightful place in second. Because let's be honest... I think when this group stage started, Dortmund were last place. And we both know they're a good team. So um, the chance of them being um, demoted to perhaps the Europa League or something is very, very minimal. Okay, so we've already played four games in this episode, guys. Uh, no point doing another one. It's going to make this episode way too long. But I'll see you guys in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.